Hello from Vienna and it's Gareth here and I just wanted to bring you up to date with uh, what's going on my three capitals tour of Central Europe if you like. I spoke to you last Tuesday from Berlin and I was looking forward to the train journey down to Vienna which was great. Did quite a bit of video editing on, on the train, quite a bit of reading. I picked up this Kauder Welsh Österreichisch uh, guidebook to um, the way Germans spoke here in Austria so I've been sitting and reading that quite a lot both on the train and, and since and the different cafes here because Café Society and Cake is one of the things that Vienna <laughs> is known for and um, one of the things I wanted to try out. So I've been to Café Spurl so far where I had uh, a great uh, Apfelstrudel and I've also tried out the famous uh, Saka Tort in the two rival cafes. I'm going to do a vlog, separate vlog on that, be coming up a bit later. Both places were pretty tasty. And I suppose for me, before I came to Vienna, I knew it from my study of history, you know, the Habsburg Empire, Metternich, and then the post-war period, the German Besatzung zones, and the, after the Germans had gone, actually, the Besatzung zones, the Soviets, and the Americans, the French, and the Brits. It was, it was split up the city, like, like Berlin, actually, initially after the war. And I suppose the Third Man film uh, symbolises that more than anything, that sort of grey period of rationing, shortages, espionage, uh, cigarette smoke. And, um, and my doctoral supervisor, actually Professor Norman Stone, was here in the, in the mid-60s when it was still very much the Cold War era. And I remember him telling me lots of stories of his adventures here and be up behind the Iron Curtain as well then. Um, but I can't believe actually there's so much to see here that this is the first time I've come to this country and it certainly I feel that my uh, appreciation of German language, the German Sprachraum if you like, is being vastly uh, expanded so it's very exciting. I've been doing the, the usual things you'd expect, looking at museums, shooting a lot of video. Um, I've published a blog post sort of t telling you about my experiences so I'll post this up with that and then I'm moving on uh, actually today to Bratislava and it's the polyglot gathering coming up so I'll be moving to my third B&B and see what that's like. This time I'm getting the bus and it's only actually about 50 minutes to an hour on the train to Bratislava so um, keep watching and uh, I'll, I'll speak to you next from Bratislava. I'm not sure what's going to go up on Thursday yet, the Thursday vlog. Um, but there will be something. I may do something from the, the gathering straight away. Not sure yet whether I'm going to do the daily vlogs I did last year. But I'll certainly be covering that in full. And um, I'll put some links underneath to um, things I've already done uh, about the gathering in my past. Uh, which you might enjoy if you're not able to get there yourself in particular. If you are going to be there, come and say hello to me. Uh, and um, if you're not, as I say, keep watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Uh, you can um, tickle, that, uh, tickle that notification bell and share the video if you, if you dare. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.